What's going on, guys? I hope you're all doing well, and thank you so much for popping into my review for the prequel film, A Quiet Place, Day One. This takes place pretty much simultaneously alongside that opening scene of A Quiet Place Part Two, where we get to see, you know, the invasion sort of kick off with these mysterious alien creatures. Now, I was really looking forward to seeing this movie. I thought the trailers looked really intriguing, and, you know, I wasn't sure, you know, if they were going to go into, you know, what these creatures are or, you know, more information on just where they came from. But honestly, I don't think anybody in this universe knows. I don't think the military, the government, I don't think any of them know. Maybe they do, but I don't think they do. So in the film, you know, you just get kind of thrown into it. Now, the, the opening, like, 15 minutes is a nice little setup. You know, with Lupita Nyong'o's character, we get to see how she's living and what her living circumstances are and her living conditions are. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen the film. But what I will say is she doesn't live by herself. And one day she's invited to go to a marionette show. So she does happen to go. She wants a slice of pizza. She walks out and the guy says, hey, we got to get back immediately. We can't get no pizza. She's pretty upset over this. She gets back in the bus and things start exploding. Next thing you know it, there's these creatures that are coming out and they're going to kill you if they hear you. And if you make the slightest sound, they're going to hear you and they're going to get you, but they can't see you. So you got to stay quiet. That's the whole gimmick of the Quiet Place films. And now she's got to survive. You know, she's got to adapt in this pretty extreme way, she meets Joseph Quinn's character, and together they sort of form a bond, and, you know, that's the movie. And I thought this was a good movie. I didn't think it was a great movie. I don't think it's as good as A Quiet Place Part 1 or Part 2, but this is a good addition. I just feel like it plays very familiar. It kind of plays things kind of safe, I feel, where you have the sort of middle of the movie where there's a lot of stuff where they're underground there's just a lot of stuff where they have to evade these creatures and stay quiet and it's like nothing we haven't seen before in those first two quiet place films maybe even better that opening sequence though of this film plus the opening sequence to a quiet place part two when we see these things and how the people start to react to it you know i think those scenes are very well done if I'm going to compare them, what's get the better opening, this movie or that movie? That movie's probably got the better open. I just think it's a better movie overall. But this, you know, it's it's not about the family of the Quiet Place family. It's about just this Lupita Nyong'o character. So when we meet her, we find out what's going on with her. And as things start to progress, you know, it's it's more focused on her. And then when Joseph Quinn comes in, it's more it's more focused on the two of them. So I liked the movie. I think it was, like I said, a little familiar. I don't really think there was a lot of tension in that middle portion of the film. Like the first, like, 20 to 30 minutes I thought were great. But once it starts to slow down, I thought that's where it started to dip. The pacing does dip pretty much right around when you meet that Joseph Quinn character, but it's not because of him. It's just because the circumstances I just feel like are very familiar. Uh, she's got a goal, something she wants to do. There's some sweet moments in the movie, but I thought the, the tension really picked up in that last 10 to 15 minutes where it's like, okay, this is the end game. This is what we're going to do. And, you know, hopefully it's going to be successful. And I, did like the end of the movie. The whole last 15 minute segment really worked for me. And that's where the tension really kicked in. You know, are these people going to make it? Who's going to make it? Who's not going to make it? Whatever the case may be, that's where it really worked. And Joseph Quinn is a superstar. He's fantastic in the movie. Lupita Nyong'o is also fantastic. She's not given as much to do as Joseph Quinn, I feel, because of the circumstances that the character's in. That's not a bad thing. I just think she, you know, her performance is much more subdued. It's kind of toned down. It's not as over the top as you might have expected. But I think the best thing about this movie, leaving it, is the sound design. The sound is so incredible in this movie. And for a film where you have to stay quiet, and if there's a pin drop, these things are going to hear you. So, you know, every little sound effect is really amplified, and it's really well done. Just like in the first two films had great sound, 
this movie had great sound as well, and I could see this going to get an Oscar nomination for Best Sound. Off the top of my head, it's probably got the best sound of the year. It was really good, and the sound design really impressed me. But overall, like I said, it's a good movie. It's not a great movie. It doesn't you know, do anything really groundbreaking or different. It's just more of a personalized story of this Lupita Nyong'o character and how she adapts with this sort of change and this invasion. And Joseph Quinn's character comes along as well. I do want to say, though, there's a cat in the movie that she's very attached to. I understand that. But there's just so many times that that cat just gets you in so much trouble. Like every time the cat was on the thing, I was like, come on, this cat, you, you got to split with it. Now, if it wasn't my cat, if I was in that position and I was that attached to the cat, I don't know what I would, I would do with it. I have no idea. But I was just saying in the film, watching it, the cat kind of got under my nerves. So A Quiet Place, day one. This is a three and a half out of five star movie for me. Liked it, didn't love it, but was happy to have seen it in the theater guys comment down below did you see the film do you plan on seeing it also don't forget to hit that subscribe button we've got a bunch of reviews up on the channel now including big reviews for inside out 2 a lot of films celebrating their 20th anniversaries 25th anniversary south park the bigger louder and uncut that's new review up on the channel now and a bunch of stuff coming in the future i'm going to be talking about the bike riders i'm going to be talking about guess what for independence day which is tomorrow july 4th i'm going to be talking about the 20th anniversary of national treasure i'm very excited to do that guys you can follow me on twitter and or x at ranking 72 and instagram and tiktok at king arises 131 that's about it for me thank you so much for watching my review for a quiet place day one and until next time over and out